30 years ago. I started a little shop in Gainesville. They didn't even hardly have lift kit companies back then when I got started. But I always wanted to work on trucks and I lifted trucks for a, at home and no, everybody told me you never could make a living doing it, but I went out on my own and tried. Total, everything, wheels, tires, pounding that one. Colton on the counter, Colton knows what, you know, the new coming, he, he stays up on top of it and sees what is, people are wanting, his ideals is what helps sell jobs. I'm Colton Quillen, uh, shop manager of Ernie Southern Off-Road. Over here we do um, a lot of things like what you see behind me. Uh, we do full frame off restorations, um, anything from leveling kit to, you know, frame off big lift kits, big wheels, tires. Um, a lot of them are for, you know, the show truck theme, but then you have the other aspect of actually taking them to the mud, taking them off-roading, side-by-side um, UTVs, ATVs, and uh, even if you wanted to go to the hot rod, we sell pretty much anything in between. Back then, when they were doing just adapters and all, they were ahead of the game, and they took the game to another level. It's like baking a cake. You got to put that good icing on top, and that's American Force. So we got an 84 Jeep CJ7. We built it in seven weeks. It was somebody's birthday. No, Christmas present. Christmas present. Two 13-year-old twin girls on this Jeep. And uh, we sent the frame off, got it powder-coated, Axles powder coated, brand new tub. You did all the stereo stuff. And then uh, we simply do a small upgrades here and there. You got like your Banff off road lighting. Um, we took a Smittyville front bumper and actually customized it to make it fit this own Jeep. And then we took a. Um, oh, yeah, we converted a set of power steps off a new Jeep to fit this. So we custom built all the brackets under it where it would fit, they could get in and out of it. We built the roll cage and had it powder coated. I mean, that just finished the job right there. Colton had them powder coat the back of the wheels where it would be their wheel. We have, we have some customers that buy a set of wheels and keep the wheels and buy new trucks and keep the same wheels, just keep going with them. I mean, they've always been one step ahead. And like even we've been to SEMA and like American Force, with all them people there, American Force stood out above everybody. I mean, the one year they did the sand truck, that was unreal. And then you wonder the next year how they're gonna top this year, you know? Somehow they come out with it. Really appreciate American Force coming out. Um, they've come to many of our events, even our own personal shows that we have here at Low Point High Springs. Um, just want to thank everybody, you know, at American Force for all the hard work that they do, and always come up with the new trends, new designs, um, and always just come up with new ingenuity to make things different and better. Um, really, just just show some love towards American Force for the best in the business. Uh, nobody does it better. Florida was always kind of behind, but now I feel like we're we're up there setting trends ourselves.